Well, hello friends, this is Jeff playing Ultimate Abro, Age of Sail. American Campaign, Hard Difficulty, Steam Version. A lot to say there, um, the Continental Journal. You can read this if you want, it's just basically saying that we scored a massive victory um, in the last battle. And the next battle is Battle of Turtle Cup Inland, which is just a tough battle. Because the enemy definitely scales up to what type of ships you have, um, so that makes it, makes it pretty tough. So it looks like I'm going to have to go with... This ship and then my two best ships. So we can only put three ships here. And we have to, you know, save this ship here or protect it. Any enemy has this giant ship over here and two big ships here too, so that's... So, here we go. So, anyways, I gotta see about... Uh, So here's the. Um, I I, th I, don't know, I think this is a third-rate ship. I'm not certain. And these are probably maybe fifth-rate. So they each have 280, and this one has 500. And this is. Uh, Yeah, this one's got 68 guns. It's a third rate. Yep, okay. So that's a monster. And yeah, okay, so... So yeah, they, they have... Okay. Yeah, so they have two fifth rates and... A third rate. And that um, definitely. Let me see. Yeah, I got a fifth rate there. Not a fifth rate. This is a seventh rate sloop, which, you know, like I said, I'm gonna try to sacrifice it. His one mission is to take this monster out. But if this guy intercepts him, it's going to be a problem now. Maybe what I could do is stop right here and put these ships right along here. Wait for him to approach us. So if I'm sending him out here, directly at that, if any one of these shoot at him, he might lose morale. Surrender. So yeah, maybe I'll stop him right there. I'll have him go that.
Maybe I can put him right there. So I gotta let them think that I'm going this way so he can turn. Yeah, I see, okay, he's gonna turn a little bit. Okay. All right, well, he is out in the lead, so now I'm gonna, let me see if I can. All right, wait, tell you what, I'll anchor you right there for now so he can get by. All right, this is my chance right here. Got to cut him into the wind. Come on, let's go. Before he turns, if he turns to take a bus at you. Because, you know, like I said, I, I hate these third rate ships. Yeah, he got the front guns too. Okay, let's cut in, cut in, cut in, cut in. We got the wind. Kiss the ship. Kiss the ship. Yes. Fire. Yeah, I, I just, you know, I, I hate uh, third-rate ships. They are so powerful, your rounds bounce off them. And it takes a lot of work. Like, if, you, if I only had to fight this one ship, and if I could bring three of these, fine. But not when they have two fifth rates at 280, and I'm at, you know, like 250 and two that, and then have to deal with this guy? No way. Like, if it was three of them, maybe. But, like I said, um... And so these guys, we're gonna just send them over here for now. And yeah, okay, thank you, you're done. So, okay, so I got that one. So now it's just two ships against two ships. And with these guys here, I do have a little extra, so... No, yeah, you yeah, know, just, no, just stay there. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to come down here and attack this guy. That one's still hanging over there, so this is my opportunity to try to take this one out. And I got these guys here. I'm gonna, they can only get on the ship when they lose about 75 guys, so, which I know we're going to lose a lot, but... Wind's going this way, so these ships should start to move. 
Oh, okay, so we are boarded. So you guys gotta get over here big time. Yeah, he's gotta start to board. Alright, I'll tell you what, I'll put this 75 on this one. That way I still have 247 on that one and 250 on this one. So if he can just capture this shit. Come on, get on it. Yes, we got it. Alright. One is done. Now we go get this one with these. Oh no, I don't need to do it. I just want one. I need these to have the 250 each. Okay, let's go, boys. We just gotta go get this one now. So yeah, by getting rid of that monster, then it would be two of my fifth rates against their two fifth rates, and we got it. So I got the Liverpool now. We gotta go get this one. He's gonna get a shot off, but but we got the win, so we should be able to get moving. Well, I'll put them back to round ball. To you. And you. Come on, we gotta do this. I guess you can get over here for some support. Gotta wait for this one to catch up. He should be able to fly. There we go. This rudder is already screwed up.
All right, I'm gonna pause for just a moment. I'm gonna, uh, this ship here, I'm gonna anchor him. And I'm gonna drop off the guys because, like I said, he didn't get here in time to help him out. And it looks like 196 to 203. So it's possible that I'll win it, but I'm gonna lose a heck of a lot of guys. So I'm gonna have to um, empty the Dennis. Drop out him, him, and him. I'll leave that one. Alright. I'm gonna send them over there. Gotta hurry. Well, it looks okay. It looks like Hancock's winning because yeah, I got the ship surrounded, but we did lose a lot of guys. Can you just get on there and make it happen? All right, we did it. Yeah, very good. Okay, well, you know, hey. Like I said, I don't like dealing with third-rate ships, so that's the way I did it. Um, you know, I wanted to even the odds a little bit. So as you can see, though, I did lose 422 guys, so that's quite a bit. And I did lose one ship, but I did capture their two ships, so... And I might not be able to unlock those ships, but at least I, you know, I got them. And I, and I got rid of one of my ships that I didn't necessarily like, so it's kind of like a way of getting rid of the ship, using it as a sacrifice ship with uh, explosive barrels. So, but they lost, you know, look at this, but they lost, you know. So anyways, I'm going to be happy with that result, because, you know, fighting one of those third rates is, is really tough. Now, I'm not saying you can't do it, I'm just saying I can't do it, so that's the way I deal with them. And I look here and I see... Um, you know, like a midshipman got to a sub-lieutenant, sub-lieutenant got to a lieutenant, a midshipman got to a sub-lieutenant, captain got to a commodore, and a, and a sub-lieutenant. So these are all really good prom promotions. And we get a little bit of weapons, and I captured two 40-gun ships. But that 64 or 68 gunship was, you know, that would be too much to deal with. Because I only had two fifth-rate ships, and the other ships I had were like a seventh-rate snow. So, I mean, there's no way that I could take all three of those ships. So that's why I had to do it that particular way. So, anyway. That's my explanation for that particular battle. <laughs> Hope you don't mind me, me sharing my thoughts about this. All right. All right, we got it. So this shows you the report. Got 25,000, five prestige, and one experience. And as you can see, I got a red marker here. So, so in a way, by me getting rid of that ship as an explosive barrel ship, that lowers my navy. And, you know, at some point I hope to have this as a green um, marker. But, anyways. Now, I just, last time I did luck. And it's just a lot of good things. Like, you know, I don't know. I know when I do technology research, like, whatever, but let me go over here for Oh, 
oh yeah, I do. All these things are really good to have. I mean, if you look at them. So, I mean, but then again, if I go with money, so I have to buy guns and stuff. So maybe, yeah, maybe I'll, I'll go. I'll lean that way for now. Technology. I'm just gonna hold off for a moment. All right. Like for repairs, here's over five bucks. So that's not bad. Two bucks. That's not bad. Like I was gonna put. You know, the funny thing is, I was gonna put um, one point into uh, ship repairs, right? But you know, I mean, what would that have saved me? A dollar? <laughs> for those two ships like you know it's kind of funny all right well that's it like i said that's it so now of course you know i have these uh so what i think i'm gonna do is i'm gonna okay that one's damaged a lot this one is hardly damaged so this one I will sell to the Admiralty, get 12. Hey, and that would mean that I would be able to, I would be able to unlock this ship. But then I would only have three reps. Yeah, because if I do that, if I have another bad battle, I can make one of these ships. Because look, the Catherine, granted I can have two, like this is a six rate uh, porcupine. But looking at, um, which one is it? And this one too. They only go to 450. Now, Speedy goes to 505. So maybe I could make these two ships eventually into fire ships. Keep Speedy. Because Speedy can have 200 with two upgrades. But these ships can have two upgrades but like I said I can only put 166 on it. so therefore I'm thinking this one goes to 850 so I will add that to the fleet it only costs 12 bucks to repair and like I said I I recycled the other ship to get to this point here Anyways, let's go back to this. Let me see. All right, we have 258 of these. So if I put these in, I can get him to 245. Huh. And this one's really hurting, so I will check to see. Where I, because I don't want to, I, I only have three rep, so I have to be very careful on how I, how many guys I put on, because if the moment I buy one rifle that I don't own, it's going to take rep. So here I'm looking at, I got 180 there, I got 111. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's it. So without spending rep, I could put this 180 here. So that means I can get him. Come on, let's go. I can get him at least to 180. Because if I go beyond that, it's going to cost rep. So if I would go to wherever I wanted this ship to go, you know, it's going to cost me a rep. So I think... I'll just have 180 on this ship for now. And then here, I need officers first, so that would be the first thing. So hey, I guess I'll get the history guy back then. So if you, have, if you know history guy, you can tell history guy that he's still alive in my game. So I'll put all three guys that bought the Admiral Edition into my game. My, my, my ship, I mean. Okay, so now I gotta look at, I got 159 of these. So if I go to 159, whoops, come on. Hey, <laughs> what's a jump? Yeah, there we go, 159. It will not cost me a rep. And at least it's at the minimum, so it's a ship that is active. And let me see if I can put some uh, things on it. All right, so at least it would be able to repair the structure. It has a boarding kit. It has a, be a gun carriage or whatever. It makes it a little bit lighter weight. But it only has 159, so that's, you know, whatever. Um, but that's about all that I can do right now. Everybody else is good. I haven't done anything with these guys. All right, well... That's what I did, okay, so, but I'm still in the red here, and I only have three reps, so that is not good. So I will go ahead and save. And as you can see, I did that battle, and I got myself ready, so, anyways, I want to thank everybody for watching. Take care to yourself, be kind to each other, everybody in the world, have a great day or a great evening, wherever you are, God bless to all of you in your own religion, and this is Jeff signing out, adios amigos!